you know, we reached out to Marlon Wayans to do an interview, right? They came back with $40,000 plus 30% of the revenue. And I'm like, this is, this is retarded. <laughs> like I had to like, like talk shit to him. Like me and him got into a whole like back and forth. Like I'm like, I don't no know one in the world this. is going to pay you this Marlon uh, Wayans. So uh, DJ Vlad <clears throat> is extremely mad uh, because uh, Marlon Wayans apparently declined his $5,000 offer to interview him and things of that nature. Um, DJ Vlad is, you know, the reason that he got partic the particular reason that he got mad apparently was because of the um, requirements that Marlon Wayans put on his ass for him to get the interview. That being, he wants 40 bands and he wants, um, I think he said, I think it was 30 percent. Uh, of the revenue of the of the interview, you know what I'm saying? Glad PD uh felt disrespected apparently um and uh brings everything to the forefront um as unprofessional as it is he does that you know <laughs> because he's so entitled and so um inclined to believe that he is something that he is not and that's because of your black ass and mine clicking on his goddamn videos but listen man people going up to dj glad on his goddamn videos thinking as if um acting as if he's some type of um you know outlet of opportunity and things of that nature like he's giving them their big break you feel me and and, and that makes dj vlad think he is something that he is not and listen he's it's mu he's much like the babylon ladies in this and in, in this aspect you know now, I know with me, I could pull out a little more than that based on who I am. You're talking to these Babylon ladies and things of that nature, lying to them, thinking that they is something that they is not. And they get into a psychosis that your ass helped put, put them in. And now you're mad at the residual effect. You know what I'm saying? Because she spread that cancer along, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, amongst her Babylon ladies, you know, friends and things of that nature. Now, what was your problem? that you dished off to somebody else to be their problem is now everybody's problem. You know what I'm saying? People getting on Glad PD's platform bragging about things that, sh that they should not be bragging about and things of that nature just so they can blow up and, and, and you know, get recognition and fame and things of that nature. But that's only going to happen one way. And, D and DJ Vlad makes sure that he, uh, you know, that that is the case because of the line of questioning that he asks. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, it, you know, um, and Marlon Wayans has right to, you know, to price gauge his ass. You know what I'm saying? To gouge his eyes out when it comes to the pricing. You feel me? Because, I mean, damn it. Look at look at DJ Vlad sitting up there with the low ball. You know, I mean, why not gouge his eyes out with the prices and things of that nature? You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, this is the thing. DJ Glad gets up on that podium acting as if, <clears throat> you know, uh, Marlon Wayans needs the forty thousand dollars in the 30 percent of the in, uh, revenue. You know, no, Marlon Wayans is worth 40 million. He doesn't need the money. He's going to stick it in you know stick it in your eye if you want the money uh if you want this type of um clout that comes with a marlon wayans interview you this guy dj vlad and we're not going to get into the tweets we don't want to get pissed off and say things that we you know have you know should not be saying on this internet and things of that nature um but i mean this guy uh gets out there and acts he's acting as if he's giving marlon wayans a shot like he's acting like he's helping marlon wayans with an interview this is a goddamn legend a wayans brother nick he's acting that, that doesn't like what are you who do you think you are man god damn man this is insane this guy thinks he's something that he's not and it's because of the guys getting on his platform um praising him oh i'm so sad man thank you so much vlad Damn, I've been trying to get on your on your interviews, man. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Thank you for the opportunity, Vlad. Damn, it's like I'm on VH1. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, dog. Get in front of these Babylon ladies. Oh, you're so beautiful. I can't believe he did that to you. Well, Edgar, if you was mine, I would have never, I'd never in my, I'd never do that to you. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't never do that to no queen like you, girl. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe somebody ever did that. Shut your ass up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now you got Vlad thinking he's mad TV. You feel me? Got Vlad turned into a mad TV and things of that nature. You know? Got Vlad thinking he's MTV. I should have said. You feel me? Why? Because you boys praising them. You get the shucking and jobbing when you're seeing them. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. But it's something that you boys doing along with us over here with these mega facts clicking um on the videos and things when 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 shit gets sticky, you know. Um I mean, maybe you know, blowing his head up into thinking that he is something that he is not. We don't know, man. We uh only assuming over here. Uh, you know, I don't know, man. I all I know is that it's disgusting. You know. Uh, all I know is all the dialogue, real rap street stars and the like, um, need to, uh, liken up and, you know, uh, 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 make haste with the, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to, uh, biting off a DJ Vlad style even more, do it even more, you know, grow even more and, you know, just, just. Take what he's doing. I mean, it's it's happened to your black ass over and over. So why not do it to his white ass? You know what I'm saying? The DJ Black pissed off because, you know, Marlon Wayans spoke about his ass being white. What do you mean? That's the first thing a nigga going to jump on when you out here disrespecting. What are you? What the hell do you mean? Hold up. And this is another thing, man. You got DJ academics over here going going at you know meek mill for uh, for years going at and now he's going at little baby nobody even gives a damn about that because that's two grown men uh that's you know mutually going at each other you dj glad you are pissed off and mad because marlon wayans a living legend a, a wayans brother Gave you a price that you didn't like. Talking about, ah, oh, ain't nobody going to give him that. Hold up. It ain't about what everybody going to give him. It's about what he want you to give him, nigga. Who said he going to charge the next man that? Who who says he ain't, he, ain't giving, he ain't giving out free interviews to somebody that ain't your ass, nigga? He don't need no 40,000. He want 40 from you and he want a piece of everything you fucking going to make off of him, too pussy hmm and i like that i like that and i think more of you motherfuckers need to do the same thing you know getting mad hmm you little punk you falling off ain't you you must be falling are you mad as hell you a little too mad for this and you know what he might not be too mad because he's so entitled he think even a living legend a living $40 million legend like the Wayans brother, A Wayans brother, the Wayans brother, one of them, you feel me? One of the key Wayans brothers. I mean, if you want to say that, they all stand out. You feel me? Shout out to the Wayans brothers. But you playing with Marlon Wayans, nigga, when he's one of the ones that'll give your ass a, a damn interview, nigga, are you crazy? Anyway, shout out to DJ Glad. Glad PD. Um, once again, snitching, letting shit be known that should not be known. Um, so I'm going to turn this into, into you know, content. We're not going to, like we say, we're you not going to get saying? into the weeds of the goddamn tweets because of the disrespect. We don't want to say things that should not be, we shouldn't be saying over this internet. But the bottom line is, this dude is a little punk. All right? Anyways, man, shout out to DJ Glad. Should we call him DJ Mad? Because we're not going to call him DJ Vlad. You know what I'm saying?